hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to championship prediction a few results i'm um, going against the odds for say there's a change up at the top this previous week as well as you know i'll go through all the results as well as the one predicted for the upper cover fixtures which is tuesday and wednesday the first week midweek games for the championship but guys, anyway, you, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Blackburn versus Notch Forest. Notch Forest beat the Stoke three two and top in the championship uh, for the Friday night football. And then on the weekend it changed again. And this table is so unpredictable at times. It does make it harder to even predict who's going to get promoted. Blackburn losing 2-1 at home to uh, Luton Town. Very good three points for Luton. Disappointed that the office for Blackburn. Um, you know, especially at that high, I think I predicted them to win that game as well. But, you know, they didn't, so they have to move on. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Nottingham Forest win. The next one is Hull City versus Sheffield Wednesday. Hull City 2-2 at home to Cardiff. Good point for Hull overall in that perspective. Sheffield Wednesday beating Middlesbrough at home 4-1 um, away from home. Good three points and it looks like a good game um, on the Sheffield Wednesday point of view. Five goals in that game so you know a very high um goal scoring game in the championship for this week um but as far as this game goes i'm gonna call it a draw and i'm gonna go for a one all scoreline for that one my next one and this is the clash of the top is leagues united versus west Brom and Albion. leagues loses shout in one nil out away from home, they could have went back to the top of the championship um, if they beat Charlton, I do believe, but they didn't, and now we're sitting in fourth place, I do believe. Um, guys, if you want to see the league table week in, week out, please let me know in the comments below. Um, West Brom, on the other hand, beating the QPR 2 0 away from home, and they are top of the championship. Um, I, you know. Village is doing a good job at West Brom, what I'm seeing. Um, you know, you don't go too far in this division without, you know, really thinking about it. Um, as I've said, it's already a tough division. It really must be tough to manage in as well. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a draw and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Preston North End. Middlesbrough, I've already mentioned, losing 4 1 at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Preston, 3 3 at home to Bristol City. Six goals in that game as well. Um, you know, good point for Bristol City. Probably expect a little bit more for Preston North End. Um, but I know. Um, but, you know. Middlesbrough losing 4-1 at home to Sheffield Wednesday. That's a bit big of a margin in my point of view from a team like Middlesbrough. Who, let's be honest, were pushing for a promotion like two to three seasons ago. I know it's a long way, but you know your expectations of a team, in my opinion anyway, it never really does change. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Preston and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Wigan Athletic versus Birmingham. Wigan losing 2-0 uh, away from home to Fulham. Birmingham losing away from home and um, Derby County 3-2. Good three points for Derby. I ain't going to talk about too much about that Fulham result purely because Fulham are my next game up. And on the Wigan perspective, I probably won't expect anything uh, more. 
So as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Birmingham and I'm going to go for a 3 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Reading versus Fulham. Fulham, just let you mention, uh, beating Wigan at home 2 0. Reading um, won uh, one all away to Swansea. Um, you know, good point for Reading. You can't expect anything. Um, a lot more from Reading, if I'm all honest. You know, um, you got Ruth Reading, as I said in a previous video, you got that thing with Yap Sam, and they've just gone downhill. They're the only team that really my expectations have changed, no disrespect to other team in the championship. Fulham, good three points for Fulham. Probably expected, so as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3-1 Fulham win. My next one, and this is the clash at the bottom of the table, Stoke City versus Huddersfield. Huddersfield, 1-0 at home against Millwall. Stoke City losing at home to Notts Forest. Um, I watched that game, it was live on Sky. Um... I thought Stoke would have had it, if I'm all honest. That first half performance, that's what Stoke need to do over the 90 minutes. And, you know, don't give so sloppy goals away that they did. Um, Huddersfield, on the other hand, getting their second point in the championship this season. Under their new management, is this a way up for Huddersfield Town now? We're going to have to wait and see. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a one all scoreline for that one. I'm expecting a lot of draws in this uh, in this uh, lot of fixtures. My next one is Barnsley versus Derby County. Barnsley losing 3-1 at home to Brentford. Um, Derby County beating Birmingham at home 3-2. Great three points for Derby. Um, Barnsley still won the defeat then after losing to uh, Brentford. Um, but where do you go with, as I said, I think Derby have fallen as well ever since Trent Lampard went to Chelsea. So, yeah, again, but my expectations of Derby never changed. I still thought I'd be back in the playoffs for this upcoming season. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Derby win. My next one is Brentford versus Bristol City. Just that you mentioned Brentford beating Barnsley 3 1 away from home. Um, Bristol City 3 3 away to Preston. Great three points for Brentford. Great points for Bristol City. Just going to give you the, the result for this one. And I'll go for a 2 1 Bristol City win. My next one is Cardiff versus QPR. QPR losing 2 0. At home to West Brom and Albion. Cardiff 2-2 against Hull. Um, probably expected a little bit more from Cardiff at Hull. Uh, I think a lot of it is because they went down from the Premier League. But it turned out not to be. So, you know, a point's better than no points, I always say. And a disappointing day at the office for QPR. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Cardiff and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Cardiff win. My next one is Chelton versus Swansea. Chelton beating Leagues 1-0 at home. Great three points for Chelton. Probably against the odds a lot for that. Um, Swansea 1-0 at home to Reading. Um, disappointing day for Swansea. Probably expected a little bit more from Swansea, if I'm all honest, how well they started this season. Charlton, on the other hand, you know, great three points from against the odds, but well done to Charlton for, uh, you know, getting them three points. It can't be easy. I know a lot of teams have struggled against leagues already this season, and we're not even halfway through yet. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Charlton, um, Charlton and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Charlton win. My last one for this midweek predictions is Luton Town versus Millwall. Millwall drawing one all away to Huddersfield. 
Luton Town beaten Blackburn 2-1 away from home. Great three points for Luton. Um, great point for Millwall. But I think Millwall should have won that game considering how well they've been going. Um, but great three points for uh, Luton. Uh, I probably weren't expecting Luton to get no points out of that one. I think I predicted a Blackburn win. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Luton. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Luton Town win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.